Hey bad bitches, it's your best gal pal Stevie. Keeping it real, keeping it rapid. I thought I was looking like a mother freaking full course meal right now. So I had to film for you guys. So I'm running late as usual, I need to get out, but like, look at me. I got my James Charles palette today and I'm loving myself sick. Like, can I not be so fab? But let's just do this 55 rapid questions and hopefully I don't get killed for being late. So, because I'm so dedicated to you, dedicate yourself to me, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, turn on post notifications, you know the drill, let's do this. So we're using a list from Forbes magazine, so it's gotta be good because Forbes are Forbes, like, you know, like, it's like, they're a thing, like, they know shit, like, so these must be the real 55 questions we need to know. Any upcoming travel plans? No. What brought you here? Um, me looking like a snack. How do you two know each other? Are we talking about the two personalities in my head? Um, we kind of live together. Um, when you're not working, how do you like to spend your time? Um, just being a bad bitch, you know me. What are you reading currently? I read NW every week, does that count? What's the first concert you attended? Um, oh my god, I think it was Justin Bieber. Like, legit, I'm pretty sure my first concert was Justin Bieber, like, back in the baby days. Where do you most hope to visit? Um, not to be uncultured or anything, but I'm hoping to make it over to America at some point. Um, I feel like it's the land of opportunity over there. Um, what's your favourite book? Um, Harry Potter or Desert Flower by Boris Diary. You should seriously read it. It, like, opened my eyes to so much in this world, and it's freaking amazing. What's your favourite 90s show? Oh my god, um, like, The Saddle Club in the 90s? Um, Sailor Moon, My Little Pony, Care Bears. Like, yeah, I was a kid in the 90s, so, like, just kid shows, you know? Cat Dog, Angry Beavers, Monsters Inc. Ah, uh, Monsters. Like, um, all that kind of shit. <laughs> What's the best Halloween costume you've ever had? Um... One year I went as Poison Ivy, which was pretty iconic. Actually, that wasn't even Halloween, that was just a dress-up party. Um, Buzz Lightyear. And I wore it to a club. Like, cute, right? Um, what's your dream job? Um, probably just being a lifestyle guru, like, aspirational figure. What's your favourite word? Clinquent. It means glittery or sparkly. What was your first job? I worked in a fish and chip shop. Shout out to Coldy Fish Bites. What's the one thing you're excited about that's coming up in 2019? Um, hmm, has Mercury been in retrograde yet? What was the worst job you've ever had? Um, look, I've never had a really bad, bad job. Like, every job has bad parts, but like, yeah, no, I don't have, think I've had a bad job. Like, I've been really lucky. Um, I guess maybe the accounting firm just was boring, but I loved all the people there. Um, yeah, I don't know. What is your most used emoji? I think gun. Or like drool face emoji when I'm being thirsty on Grinder. If you could win an Olympic medal for any sport, real or fake, what would it be? Quidditch. If you could change your name, what would it be? Um, I'd probably just legally change it to Stevie. Like, I'm not a Steven, I'm not a Steve. Like, I don't know what my parents were thinking. So like, yeah, maybe just like legally changing it to that um, would probably do it for me. Oh my god, this hair won't tuck and I'm really wanting it tuck. You know, I've never actually tucked, just fun fact. Because I've never actually legitimately done drag. So it's me sitting here like this. Oh my god, if you're not wearing gowns, you're not wearing drag. You're not doing drag, so I'm not in drag. Um, what was your favourite subject in school? Um, like, English, I guess. Because I was good at it. It was easy. Photography. Um, even though I never went, I... It's probably why I liked it so much. Um, what movie or TV show title best describes your week? Um, Sleepless in Seattle. Um, Monsters, Inc. Um, Tomorrow When the War Began? I don't know, like, that's a tough one. Oh, I know, Free Willy! Yeah. What was, what's your hidden talent? I don't have one, like, I'm pretty untalented, so that's cool. Um, maybe just being able to, like, talk my way into or out of pretty much anything. Oh, no, actually, I'm gonna make a video about this soon. I'm an empath, which some people believe in, some people don't, but, like, I do, so that's my secret talent. Um, if you had to eat one thing for every meal going forward, what would that be? Spaghetti bolognese, probably. Or, like, pineapple. Probably pineapple. If someone were to play you in a movie, who would you want it to be? Ariana Grande? Because she's pretty as fuck. If you could spend a day in someone else's shoes, who would they be and why? Maybe Ari or Rihanna. Maybe Rihanna, actually. I think she'd be fun. She's such a boss-ass bitch. What's one thing your mother or father taught you that completely changed your life? Um, how to wipe my ass. What's been on your mind lately? Um, the future, where things are going, and 
who is going to be around me for that. And it's not fun to think about what's the first career you dreamed of having as a kid? Hairdresser, actually. So, like, full circle. But, yeah. Um, what, other than that, a vet. Like, it was hairdresser, then, like, when I was in kinder, then vet in primary school, like, when I actually thought about it, I think. What's the last text you sent? Hey, I'm coming down to get you to someone that was downstairs. Um, what's one of your favourite memories? Um, just, like, it sounds so stupid, but, like, Every night, me and my ex used to lay in bed and cuddle and just say, this is my favourite part of the day. And no matter what else was going on, doing that just, like, really brought us back together and, like, centred us and reminded us what was important and we could get through anything together and we, I don't get that now. And that was my favourite part of every fucking day. And that's my favourite memory. Um, what's one thing about you that surprises people? That I'm not a complete dumbass, but, like, I'll play up to it anyway. Um, who or what was your biggest teacher? Probably my last relationship. Um, I learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about other people, I learned just so fucking much, like, my whole life changed during that, and, yeah, like, I grew. Um, what was something you've done that made you feel extreme happiness getting Biggie? She's fucking amazing. Knowing that, what you know now, what advice would you give your 18 year old self? Just do you, boo. Like, shit happens, you'll figure it out, you're strong, trust yourself. Like, you know what, you, you know what's up. If you could instantly become an expert in something, what would it be? Um, making millions of dollars. What does success mean to you? Honestly, success is just at the end of the day, when you're outside of whatever you, you're doing, you're happy. Like, if you can sit there at the end of the day, surrounded by people you love, not hating your job, not hating your life, like, that's all that matters. Like, it's, that's success, just being happy and, like, having a life full of love. Um, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? You never know who you're going to bump into, so always look your best. Where is your happy place in the K-hole? If you can invite three people dead or alive to a dinner party, who would they be and why? Um, I think it would be Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, and Rihanna. Like, I'm sure there could be a lot more fun combinations of people, like, who you can just make really awkward with each other, but, like, I feel like... That would be a fun party. Like, we'd have a good time. I'm here for that combo. Um, how can someone win a gold star with you? Um, love my dog. Like, it's not hard. She's so fucking lovable. What energizes you and brings you excitement? Um, watching the energy and effort I put into Biggie and how smart she is and watching her progress and learn from what I'm putting in, it gives me a sense of accomplishment when I don't really, like, I'm not really working towards a great deal, like, to, for my future at the moment, so, like, that's something that, like, I can see a result to my effort, and I can see a smart little, like, champion dog, like, just emerging, and that's something that, like, I am so proud of her, <laughs> like, I, I'm that person, I, my dog is my kid, I don't even care anymore, like, I'm that bitch, but, yeah, that's what fills me with excitement. What qualities do you value in the people with whom you spend time? It's just authenticity. Someone who can both be fun and serious when they need to be, who can listen, but also who can talk and be open with you. Honesty, communication, like, just... That's, like, what it's all about. Like, there's no point hiding things from the people you spend your time with. If you want to spend your time with them, then why not spend your time with people you love? And if you love them, let them in. Hey, baby. Hey, I was talking about you, wasn't I? Good girl. Good girl. Um, for what would you be famous? Being a bad bitch? Hey, baby. Um, what does your dream day look like? Um, just spent. Just chilling. Playing with the dog. Being with someone I love. We all know who that would be. But that's unlikely, so just chilling with this one. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? I don't sleep, I'm an insomniac, and I do nothing with my extra time. What's your guilty pleasure? Keeping up with the Kardashians, and, um... Probably just... Yeah, that's probably it. I don't really have a guilty pleasure. I, like, I, I guess I eat snacks and stuff, but, like, that's not... To me, that's not a guilty pleasure. That's just, like, eating. Like, I don't eat healthily ever, so, like, you know. I'll probably just, like, shopping. Shopping's bad for me. Um... At what job would you be terrible? Anything involving numbers and, like, offices and, like, not for me. The accounting firm was enough and that was only admin. Like, not my, not my forte. If you had to choose only three adjectives to describe yourself, what would you choose? Clinquent, empathetic, empathetic, and genuine. Oh, you know, authentic, compassionate, 
bipolar, maybe, I don't know. Mm, what do you give a damn about? I give a damn about protecting animals and children as much as we can in this world. I believe in standing up and having a voice for those that can't have a voice for themselves. And that's something I'll always be passionate about and something I will always, always fight for. What is a dream that you have, have that you are yet to achieve? Um, to have like two-toned skanky Christina Aguilera hair from Dirty. That's something I think I'm going to do this year. What's something you say you'll do but never will? Give up on love. Can I not be such a faggot? Um, what did you have to give up to achieve your current level of success? Everything but nothing really. Like, it doesn't feel like giving up anything when you're happy with what you're doing. Um, I guess maybe just being able to spend as much time with my family as I would like. They're so far away. That sucks. But they're still around and we still love each other so like I haven't given them up at all. Um, has anything ever happened to you that you could not and cannot explain? Yes, so much. Like, I'm a ghost whisperer. I'm an empath. Like, my whole life is based on, like, these things that can't be proven. And, um, like, it's just a part of who I am. So, like, my, yeah, my whole life. Do you ever find there are things about you that people misunderstand? Yes, everything. I feel like I have such a completely unique way of viewing things and it's never the same as when another person views the situation. So, I'm constantly misunderstood because people can't see things from my point of view or perspective. Um... And that's fine, I've learned to live with that, I've learned to try and accommodate for people and not be so frustrated with them for not being able to see it my way when I struggle to see it their way sometimes, but I usually can put myself into their headspace, but I, yeah, like, I'm constantly, I think, misunderstood or misinterpreted, maybe, like, mistranslated. I think they all mean the same thing, I don't know why I'm trying for another word, like, I'm gonna give up on that. Um, do you, for what are you most grateful today? My James Charles palette arriving and me looking bomb with this glitter fairy eyeshadow look. And I'm never doing that wink again. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, if you could have a, one do-over in your life, what would you do differently? Nothing. I, age old answer. Like, no regrets. Can't change it, anything because that would change everything. And, you know, I would love to say, like, I'd go back. I'd make things differently with my ex. Like, I'd do things. I would, you know. But I wouldn't, like... There's no point trying to change things. You can't be in control of everything. You can only be in control of yourself. So you can't. You can go back and change as much as you want, but the other person is still going to be in within their own control. And you can never go back and like have a situation pan out the way you want exactly because you can't predict another person. So what's the point? Um, if you could have one of what are you most afraid? Being alone forever. I'm going bald. Mostly going bald. And that is the end of our questionnaire. That didn't take me too long, it was only 20 minutes, so hopefully I'm not going to get murdered yet for when I turn up so late. Um, but I better go, don't really have time to do a good outro, but this just thought I'd go back to, you know, old me vibes, what I used to do on my channel a lot. Um, hope you enjoy it. If you do like this video, please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, comment, like, whatever you want to do, just spread some love, spread it in my direction, and I will spread it in your direction, you know? Alrighty, stay bad, bitches.